gonna show you something. Yes. I'm gonna show you something. Isaiah 96. Isaiah 96, that's real good. The book of Isaiah, chapter 9 and verse 6. For unto his for unto us a child is born. Talking about Christ, right? Yep. Yep. Unto us a son is given. Uh -huh. And the government shall be upon his shoulders. And his name, and his what? His, his name, his what? His name shall be called wonderful. Shall be called what? Wonderful. So whose name? It's talking about Christ. Jesus Christ. Right. Watch so what this. is his name going to be called? Watch Let's what? hear it. Hold on, hold on, Let's hear What is his name? And his name shall be called wonderful, uh -huh. counselor, uh -huh. the mighty God. The mighty God. The mighty God. Yeah. Jesus Christ yep. will be called the, the mighty God. God. Right. Right. What else? What else? The everlasting Father. The everlasting the Father. The Prince of Peace. Uh -huh. So what's the name of the everlasting Father? We're dealing with Christ right Jesus now. Christ. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Am I wrong for saying Jesus Christ? Jesus Christ. This is the name of the everlasting Father? No, you're not wrong. Because that's what the word but, says. So we know but, the name. But watch this, so though, bro. So we know the name. Bro, watch this. Watch we this. We know the name of God, right? Watch this. Through this scripture, first, we know the name of the Father. Hold on, man. Yes or no? I'm going to ask a question. We know the name of the everlasting Father. Which is Christ. Which is Jesus Christ. So we're dealing with Christ. So we're in agreement. We're dealing with Christ. The name of the everlasting Father. we're dealing with Christ. Watch this. Jesus the book of 1 Corinthians it's chapter 11 and verse 3. And verse three. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ. Yes. And the head of the woman okay. is the man. And the head of Christ, the head of who? The head of Christ is God. Yes. So yes. now we there's a there's a clear distinction between Christ and in God. In Isaiah, what we just read, all those different names, yes, you're right. Those are different titles for Christ. No, the names. It says but his the, the name we dealing, shall be called the everlasting Father. But that's Christ. Yeah, We're dealing exactly. With Christ. That's the so, name I'm claiming. Right, with well, Christ. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so now give me um um Revelation 19 and 11. Revelation 19 and 11. The book of Revelation, chapter 19 and verse 11. And I saw heavens open, and behold, a white horse. And he that sat upon him was called faithful and true. So now those are more names for Christ. Faithful and true. Yes. Right? You know? And in righteousness he doth judge and make war. His eyes were as a flame of fire. And his head were and, and upon his head were many crowns. And he had an, and he had a name written that no that no man knew. Hey, come on, come on, Austin, come, come on. on. Read this come again. On. And he had a name written. That no man knew. So he has a name, even though we read all those names in Isaiah. Jesus. There's a name that he has right. that no man knows. Right. Right. Read. But he himself. Mm. Mm. Damn. Read on. And he was clothed with a fester dipped in blood. Come on. And his name is called the Word of God. Now give me Revelations 3 and 12. So you was on point, brother, but there's more. Now we're going to give you that increase. You see what I'm let's saying, brother? I'm trying to give you that increase, iron brother. Down, I like it. Amen. Iron sharpened iron. Let's go. The book of Revelation, chapter 3 and verse 12. He that overcometh, will I make a pillar in the temple of my God? Come on. And he shall go no more out, and I will write upon him the name of my God. Come on. And the name Come of on. the city of my God, Read on. which is New Jerusalem, yes. which cometh down yes. out of heaven Read. from from my God, you know? and I will write upon him my new name. So, Come on. remember, we just read he has a you name know? that no man knows, That's right. and then he's going to give us the new name. Right, give me that in Zephaniah. Yeah. Why? Why is that? Why Why he got to give us the new name? You know what I want, Zephaniah? Yes, yeah. Come on. Zephaniah 3 and 12. Yes, Come on. Yes, Come on. Yes, Come on. Yes, Zephaniah chapter 3. And verse 9. And verse 9. For then will I turn to the people a pure language. So the reason why we don't even have the real name because we don't have the pure language. Because right. right. you Puerto Rican, right? You, your people in Puerto Rico, they speak Spanish, right? Yeah. My people are Haitian. In Haiti, they speak Creole. Right. Right. They don't know Spanish. They don't know English. Right. They're going to call on God on the name that they know. Right. Right. So we can't say you're going to be saved by the name because right. there's different languages. Right. You got brothers scattered in China, Japan, Iraq, Bring it out. Russia. Bring it they out. speak all these different languages. They're going to call on God on the name that they know. Right. So we can't say by the name you're going to be saved. You see what I'm saying? You can't. Just pull up, yep. just pull up Revelations 14. One. Well, we're going to read that. Hold on, read. The book of Zephaniah chapter 3 and verse 9. For then will I turn to the people a pure language that they, may, that they may all call upon the name of the Lord to serve him with one consent. Now give me Psalms 138 verse 2. 
Read. No, because Psalms chapter 138 and verse 2. This is what I'm also trying to explain to you right here. I will worship towards thy holy temple and praise thy name for thy, thy loving kindness. Come on. And for thy truth. Watch this. For thou hast magnified thy word. He did what? Thou hast. Now you need to listen very good. He did what? And for thou hast magnified thy word above all thy name. So he said, I magnified thy word above all thy name. Why? Because. I give me that in Matthew 7, 7 21, which is Christ. Jesus Christ. Right. So, but so that's that name. But you got to understand though, when he says, I magnified the word above yeah, thy name, because there's going to be people calling on Lord, Lord, Yeshua, Yeshua, Yahweh, Yahweh. Why? Why? There you go, brother. There you go, brother. What I'm trying to say is, there you go. Name of the Father, because look, I'm piggybacking off what you said. I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to argue. We build it. We build it. It says right in Revelation 14. It says, and I looked, and lo, a lamb stood. Yeah, we're gonna get it. We're gonna get it for you. We're gonna get it for you. Revelation 14. And Jehovah Witness love to run to this. The book of Revelation, chapter 14, and verse one. And I looked, and lo, a lamb stood on the Mount Zion. And with him, an hundred forty and four thousand, having his father's name written in their foreheads. So how do you know? They always talk about that remnant. So right. how do we know the remnant? There's one name we can write in our heart. There's one name that we can write. Now, there is another name that Christ said he's going to reveal at the end. You're absolutely right. right. But the name that was given on this earth and in heaven is the name of Jesus Christ. I believe that name was before the world was. That name is the government. That name is the kingdom. Like I said, we're united in Christ. Right, but... Because but this, but listen, bro, but listen, all, you can have all of that, but if you're not keeping the commandments, it don't, it don't mean nothing, bro. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is community. 